Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Hamidan, affirmed that the Ministry's keenness on activating joint cooperation with various official authorities and the Labour Fund Temkin to adopt the most successful practices that accelerate citizens' employment and make them the first choice for employment. Hamidan stated that the Ministry endeavours to begin a new stage of work integration that provides qualitative training and employment opportunities for Bahrainis in the private sector and to accommodate and register new job seekers to integrate them into the labor market. The Ministry of Labor will sort the jobs that are available by sector and economic activities and will contact employers to accelerate filling these vacancies with job-seeking national graduates. Under the patronage of the Minister of Municipality and Agriculture Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Polytechnic, Engineer Awa'il al-Mubarak, the college is organizing a three-day conference from October 18th to 20th under the theme Creative Solutions Through Research Outcomes During the Pandemic. The Minister of Municipality and Agriculture Affairs explained that the conference aims to discuss new educational practices imposed by the global spread of the coronavirus pandemic in various fields including engineering, technology, business administration, logistics and higher education and the extent of its impact on various aspects of daily life during the post-pandemic period. He added that the conference will target students, academic researchers, and educational and legal experts in research. He called on researchers wishing to participate to submit abstracts of their research papers via email until August 20th. For his part, Bahrain Polytechnic Chief Executive Professor Dr. Kiran O. Kahun affirmed that Bahrain Polytechnic seeks to enhance active and positive engagement with stakeholders at the national, regional and global levels. He noted that the conference will allow the institution to communicate with its partners by bringing experts together to share innovative research ideas across diverse disciplines that will benefit all. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, announced that Bahrain has not detected any monkeypox cases so far, affirming commitment to ensure the health and safety of all citizens and residents. She stated Bahrain has taken wide-ranging proactive precautionary measures in light of the rise in the number of infected cases globally. Dr. Jalila added that the government has developed a strategy to secure the needed medical and logistical resources to curb the spread of the disease and deal with infected cases, stressing that epidemiological monitoring efforts are being intensified across the kingdom. She also said that concerned authorities have adopted the relevant protocols related to testing, isolation and treatment based on global WHO recommendations and standards. The Education and Training Quality Authority, BQA, issued a new package of periodic reports which monitor the performance quality of educational and training institutions and the result of listing academic and training quali qualifications on the National Qualifications Framework following their approval by the Cabinet. On the occasion, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs and Chairman of BQA, Ayman al muayyad affirmed that Bahrain is keen on continuing the development of its educational and training system and on providing an educational model that is capable of producing qualitative educational outcomes that translate the current and future visions and aspirations to support the goals of the comprehensive developmental process led by His Majesty the King and implement the directives of the government led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. For his part, the CEO of BQA, Dr. Tariq Mohammed Sindi, affirmed that the authority is always keen on developing the education and training sectors in Bahrain, noting the importance of issuing the authority's reports and supporting the plans and efforts of developing a solid knowledge basis. 
In a new achievement for Bahrain, two engineers from the National Space Science Agency, NCCA, received the trust and accreditation of the Space Generation Advisory Council as the first representatives of the kingdom in the council, which receives the support of the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs. The CEO of NSSA, Dr. Mohammed Al Asiri, affirmed that Bahrain develops ambitious youth and takes pride in their excellence in various regional and international international space sector events. He noted that the trust came as an affirmation of Bahraini youth cadre's capabilities. The two accredited engineers asserted that the achievement was made as a result of His Majesty the King's belief in the youth as the true wealth of the nation and as a result of the continuous follow-up of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which endeavored to raise the level of Bahraini youth in various fields. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil al Asumi, received the Somalian ambassador to Egypt. During the meeting, al Asumi affirmed that Somalia is facing a rare humanitarian crisis that requires the immediate and rapid intervention of the entire international community and donor institutions to provide possible assistance to Somalia. He noted that Somalia needs concerted efforts to overcome the drought and famine crisis it is facing, stressing the Arab Parliament's support for Somalia's efforts so that it can overcome those challenges in order to achieve the hopes and aspirations of the Somali people for stability, peace and economic development. Okay.